Good evening and happy Friday the 13th. Don't know if that's happy or not, but what is happy is tonight I am staying in the Apex. Apex? Yeah, Apex, Apex. Hotel, the city hotel here in Glasgow city centre and I have a city centre view, I think it's called. Behind me. And tonight is a happy night because recently, I'm kind of treating myself to, to this room because recently all you guys, you guys watching, hopefully watching, still watching, uh, we hit the 1000 subscribers mark and that's you guys. So that's 1000 of you guys. So I think we're currently at 1,012, 13. So thank you to all 1,012, 13. Uh, I think it's roughly about that. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, but I'll do a separate video on that, I think. But tonight, but thank you. I honestly appreciate it. As I was saying, tonight I am staying at the Apex City of Glasgow Hotel here in Glasgow City Centre and let's have a little look around the room. I'll put all the information of the room, all the details of the room in the video or the description box. I'll have a look, hopefully it'll be on the video, if not it'll be in the description. But as usual, let's go start at the front door, which is a bit of a walk away from the main room. room but as I always say make sure you know where you are in case of emergency for the escape routes all your standard stuff door lock kind of security lock you have this little hook which I think is pretty cool they've got a low people which is the first one I have seen here in Glasgow and probably in a hotel there's a peephole there, or a viewfinder, whatever we call that, and one up here as well. So we can look at different levels, I'm presuming, for disability access, uh, kids. You can have a look through both of these options for everyone. And you've got Please do not disturb. Two, sep two separate signs, which is also different. So refresh my room and do not disturb on this little hook, which is separate from the handle, which I also think is different. It's pretty cool. Remember to put your keycard in this little slot here to get all your power on, your lights and etc. on. And as soon as you walk in this room, look at the size of this hole. I'll have a look at that in a moment with the kettle. Whoa. Look at that. So, bathroom, bedroom, but first let's have a little look what we have here. So this area of course has the coffee and tea and hot chocolate making facilities. But also, this is where your hanging and storage facilities are. So, up here first, I'll have a look at them first. Storage. And here, a little sh kind of shelf, two shelves, with your hair dryer up here. 
and then you've got your hanging facilities in this cupboard. I've put my jumper in there just now. Quite a lot of hangers. You've got normal wooden hangers and you can hang up trousers as well and you've got these padded ones as well. So I've of course put my amazing jumper on a padded one. Iron board, iron, little cup for water for the iron. There's a book as well showing what Glasgow has to offer. It's a nice touch. And then you've got a mat here for your shower, which we'll have a look at of course. And then these are the laundry options. So I'll do a quick scan of that just now, just to give you an idea of the prices. So let's get a bit of light for that. So if you want to pause the video at any moment, of course you can do that. This gives you an idea of the prices for your dry cleaning and laundry service. And that's it for that. So let's get that back in there just now. And we will fix that a bit better later on. Let's close that. Down below the kettle, we have safe. And we have a little mini fridge here with some complimentary milks for your tea and coffee. And then also there is some sparkling and still water, which I hope is complimentary because I'll be having them. <laughs> Let's have a look. So, of course, the kettle, like I mentioned, I slide this out. Hopefully, I don't smash anything. So, real glasses, not plastic, real mugs, real spoons, and all your coffee. A decaf, next cafe, hot chocolate. I think it's allowed to come home with me. If I don't have it here. I think that's the rules. So also some border shortbread ring and biscuits. Again, I will have a name and then twinnings. Or twinnings? No twinnings. Teas as well. Got a double socket one for the kettle, and you've got a socket there you could use if you wish, just next to the kettle. And that's that area. Now into, oh, nearly went past this. Another handy double socket there in the hallway. What we'll do is we'll go into the, the main room first, or the other room first. And then we'll come back into the the bathroom. These cool pictures as well. It's a nice touch. So into the room. First thing I notice is there are two separate flooring as well. So you've got the hardwood flooring, got a laminate, I think it is. And then you've got the carpet, pretty cool carpet with the whole, takes in the theme of the hotel, basically the colour theme as well. Here's an overview of the room. So, stepping into the room, tall mirror. On this side, got a nice comfy chair, which I have sat in already. <laughs> a double socket just next to the mirror. And then you've got this desk. That is a big desk, to be fair. It's maybe quite deceiving on the, the video, but it is a long desk. You can get a lot of things on there. Plenty of space for Laptops, food, etc. I like this lamp, I like the theme of the, the lighting in the lamp because you've got this desk lamp here which is again huge. And you've got the same there as well for your bedside lamps. 
they're all the same team, same look. Really nice. So the desk, it's chair. On the desk you've got double socket there with two USB points to charge. Nice TV, Samsung TV. And look at this. Another mirror in the table. You can make yourself look pretty. I won't be doing that. That's because I'm pretty enough. Obviously. Anyway. You've got this here, so if you want to ask anything any time, so everything you need is just a click away from newspaper requests or extra pillows to dinner bookings or advice about local area, simple scan. So there you go. You can scan that just now if you would like to find out some more information what I've seen there. So you can pause that there if you want. So sorry about that edit there. My phone was going, so I had to deal with that. So, bedside, table, double socket. I'm surprised there's no USB points. I know there's USB points over there, but yeah, still good to have two there. And I think, yeah, two over there. So you've got four, two on each side of the bed, which is still cool, still good. Uh, lights, you can control the lights, of course. That's for the room, and that's for this cool lamp that I was talking about. That's pretty cool. Lots of pillows. Your normal your bed pillows, and your decorative ones as well. And towels here as well. Over on the other side of the bed, of course, the same like I mentioned, same light switch, same power outlets. Let's see your fire alarm, pillow pad connection point. So I have no idea what that means. Pillow pad connection point. Yeah. Pass. Whether all any of you guys or girls know what that means, let me know. Of course, we've got the phone, I might never mention the phone there. And that's really it from the main room area. Of course, we'll have a look at the, the view as well. I might actually have a view, let's have a look at the view just now, before it gets any darker. Um, I'm surprised, does this, what well, does? I does not think. That would have opened. There you go. So that opens. But what does that do? Does that mean you can, I can... Pop my head out here? That's strange. Why this opens. But yeah, you got the view. Some of the streets in Glasgow here. A lot of construction going on still here in Glasgow. There's always been, definitely always been construction going on. There is across the road, of course. Some work going on, some maybe restoration, some changes. You see some cranes over there. So there is nice views to be had. see down there. Glasgow's starting to wake up at night time. Starting to get busy. I'm surprised that it's still light enough, but it is May of course. I'll close this over just now. Ooh. There's no lock on that, I don't think. No, no luck. 
And then that's the only view I can get on that other side, that way. And that's really the view, that's it. What's that there? Is that a student? So Robert Owen house. That must be a student, yeah, student studio accommodation. And that's the view from this room. Let's go and have a look at the bathroom. Now, I'm not going to call it a bathroom anymore, I don't think. I'm going to call it a wet room. That was the door, that was the door by the way, it's cooking. Just in case you're thinking it was me. Yeah. There's a hook there. But look at this, it's all open. It was ramped as well to get in and out for disabled access. And it's just a full wet room in this room that I've got. And they could be different in other rooms. But for tonight, this is what I have. An accessible shower. Yeah, nice, clean, modern. Definitely first impressions. There's me. Nice big floating sink. There. Some nice control taps. A bit of normal stuff. The towel here. Shaver's point. Shaver socket. Shaver charging. Those kind of things, what's that? Yep. And what do we have here? What do we have? We have. Is that antipodes? 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 Uh, fig and Fihoa. Fihoa? <laughs> Fihoa. Hand and body wash. Fig and Fihoa. Hand and body lotion. You can see that. You can see it with me now. Fig and, yep, shampoo. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, strike. Oh, no, it's not one we're standing. And conditioner. So, fig and fihoyoch. Conditioner. So, there's that, lay them down. Strike. And then we've got some soap. And two face towels. Nice big mirror. I'm gonna get out of the way just so I can show you the mirror. No. I have no idea what this is here. Reset button. Reset button. Do I press the reset button? Oh, my temptation. What do we have here? So real glasses. I like it. No plastic. Reusable. So I like that. A little notice there just to say we can reuse the towels. It's not going to focus, is it? There we go. Some the tissues. Extra toilet roll. Shower cap. No, sanitary bag. A nice mirror at the back there as well. But look at this. How cool is that? A sealed toilet paper. Sealed. Signed and sealed. No, it's not signed. But. Yeah, and that's it from the wet room. So no bath in this room. But it's very, very big. Big wet room. Nice and clean and modern, like I say. Turn the light off. And... Oh. Better turn the camera around. And that's really it from this room. I don't think I really see anything else apart from the bin. Did I mention the bin? I can't remember mentioning the bin. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to sit in this corner oh, with a comfy chair. And that's really it. So I don't really know what else to show you because there's nothing else to show in this room. What I will say is if this is your first time watching me, Thank you for watching if you've got this far into the video. Uh, my name is Ian, aka Mac Blogs. I do mainly my main aim, I'm going to say it, my main aim is Orlando. I love visiting Orlando. 
as you can probably tell by my page uh, but and my content I also do kind of groups of videos or well, one group of kind of how do I put it one kind of genre of content would be kind of travel theme parks adventure that kind of thing so anything that I enjoy doing like travel hence a hotel I am enjoying the weekend here and it's just information purposes as well so I like to help I like to get the kind of information out there I don't live far from Glasgow and Glasgow's a great city uh, I'm not just being biased but fantastic city great vibe I love Glasgow I love Edinburgh I need to see more of Scotland myself to be honest even though I live here I would love to see more of it but that's the kind of content that I do so mainly will be Orlando that's my kind of main vision if you want to call it I am going back there in October this year I had to think about there October for Halloween Horror Nights and a few other things which I'm not going to give away in this video but if you like that kind of content if you've been to Florida before let me know leave a comment down below and yeah hopefully you subscribe and you, f you just follow this journey follow my journey join the community that I'm building here I do talk to a lot of you guys on a regular basis you all comment on a regular basis which I appreciate I try and get back to you, most of you if I can, uh, and uh, if I missed your comment, I apologise, but I do try and get back to you all. But yeah, it's, I'm just enjoying making the content, getting it out there, if it's useful information for people that want to, for yourself, maybe watching this video right now, that want to stay here or thinking about staying here, then this is an option for you. And that's why I'm doing it as well, to get that, that information out there. And enjoy myself as well because I enjoy doing it so it's the best of both worlds but again thank you everyone for hitting that 1000 subscriber mark this is all for you guys and myself I enjoy it like I say but it's all for you hopefully you enjoy the content and yeah keep keep liking the videos keep leaving comments keep giving me suggestions ideas and all that fun stuff all that good stuff that helps get the information out there, helps the channel grow and like I say, let's just maybe entertain these all these things if you enjoy the video. So as you can probably tell I'm getting really tired. I'm gonna go and chill, relax, enjoy the rest of my night. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye bye. How could I have missed this here? Look, how cool is this? Bottle opener? Uh huh. Right, yep. Yeah. Also, a corkscrew. <laughs> That's cool. Like that. Yep. Mm, no, not focusing, not having it. There we go.